And now I am very happy. It's a great honor today that we are able to present Sister Natalie Becar to you. Sister Natalie is a very important woman at the moment, as she is right now at the moment in Rome, being responsible also for the evaluation of the questionnaires which have been collected for the synodal process. So I'm very happy, Sister Natalie, that you are with us today. And I would like to introduce you to our audience today. Sister Natalie is a French Catholic religious sister and also a member of a congregation of Saint-Pierre's, which she joined in the year 1995. She was appointed as a consultor to a synod of bishops in the year 2019 and named one of its under secretaries in 2021. Sister Natalie was also um, overseeing the national service for the evangelization of young people and for vocations within the Bishops' Conference of Fran France. She holds this position from 2008 to 2018. Moreover, Sister Natalie Bicard studied theology and philosophy in the Jesuit seminary in Paris and also sociology at the School for Advanced Studies in the Social Sciences. Sister Natalie, we are very happy that you made the time to be here with us today. So I would like to open up the floor for your presentation. Thank you very much. Good morning or good afternoon. I'm really happy to connect with you as you are reflecting on this important topic of synodality in large cities. So I'm very grateful for this invitation to connect with your diocese and share some reflection about synodality. I do it as we are all together all around the world living a synod for a synodal church, communion, participation, mission. We have just finished the first phase because this, for the first time in all the history of the church, a synod is convoking everybody. So this synod has happened in all the dioceses around the world and now at the Secretariat of the Synod, we are gathering, reading, cross-reading, really listening to all the synthesis coming back from the Bishops' Conference from uh, everywhere in the world to draft the document for the next stage, that would be the, the document for the continental stage. So why synodality is important for today? What is synodality? How can we understand it? First, I'm happy to talk about it, but uh, we really learn synodality through an experience. And this synod is really about uh, a path to, for the church to become more synodal. And as synodality is a learning by doing, we are all together uh, invited really to become and to be this church, this synodal church that is a listening church. In fact, as uh, an important document uh, from the International Tele Theological Commission is stating, synodality manifests the pilgrim character of the church. The image of the people of God gathered among the nation expresses its social, historical, and missionary character, which corresponds to the condition and vocation of each human person as homo viator. Jesus is the way from God to man and from man to God, and we are called like Jesus who went to walk with us as human beings. You may have this image of the road of Emmaus, Jesus coming to walk with the disciple of Emmaus. This is, in a way, synodality, a way to walk together as church, a church of people of God, a church of missionary pilgrim. We can say that synodality is a dynamic vision of the church in history, a church on the move, a church that is the realization in history as communion in mission. So really synodality is the form which 
the Spirit gives to the people of God in the world. Uh, it's a dynamic dimension, the historical dimension of ecclesial communion. So through this synod, we are called to journey together with this style of listening to the word of God, listening to each other so that we could listen to the Holy Spirit. Because the main protagonist for synodality is really the Holy Spirit and the faith that the Holy Spirit is leading the church. The vision of synodality is about living, looking at the church, experiencing the church as a church of protagonists. All the baptized are called uh, to be missionary pilgrims, to be missionary disciples. So synodality today has to shape the whole life and mission of the church, all our dimension. In a way, synodality expresses the nature of the church, its form, its style, its mission, that the church, the mystery of the church is rooted in the mystery of the Trinity. It is about uh, this Trinitarian vision called us to understand the church as a church of all together, a church of people of God in which all are protagonists, as Pope Francis said, no one can be considered a mere extra. So it's a vision about a church of subject. We, are, we all have a role to play for synodality. We are all called to take part to this synod. And now I would like to underline uh, some key elements at the basis of this ecclesial vision of synodality. We can say the key element at the basis of the ecclesiology of synodality. That is this vision of the church uh, as missionary pilgrims on the road led by the Holy Spirit as the logo of the synod is expressing with different colors. So this vision of a synodal church, we are now trying to look at some key elements. The first element, I have already uh, expressed it in a way, it is ready to see the church as people of God on the way. A church of missionary pilgrims, and it's about being a church people of God uh, that suppose that all the faithful are co-responsible in a differentiated manner according to gifts, ministry, and charism. So uh, this vision of the church people of God on the way is that is synodality. It's a vision in which we can look at synodality as what stimulates the generation and implementation of processes that build us as the people of God, rather than the search for immediate results with quick, with quick consequences. I quote here the letter of Pope Francis to the church in Germany on the synod's journey. So it's true that synodality uh, requires patience, time, time to open process that build us as the people of God. The second element at the basis of this ecclesial vision of synodality is the theology of baptism as a basis for co-responsibility. And here I quote this document about synodality that I have already mentioned, the document from the International Theological Commission, Synodality in the Life and Mission of the Church. If, through the grace of baptism and confirmation, all are empowered to participate in Christ, the Church knows no hierarchy here, for all receive the same fullness of grace and are called to the same vocation of love of God and neighbor. So synodality is really to put the first focus on what we have in common as baptized before any of our differences. 
And according to Lumen Gentium, this very important constitution on the church, uh, there is a radical equality between all the baptized. We can refer to Lumen Gentium, paragraph 10, uh, 13. We are all co-responsible, we are all invested with the same dignity within the priestly, royal and prophetic people. So synodality, in a way, is about retrieving the common priesthood of all the baptized. The third element uh, after the church as people of God on the way, second element I just mentioned, the theology of baptism, the third element, key element for this ecclesial vision of synodality is the authority of the sensus fidei fidelium. That means the authority of the sense of faith that has been given to all the faithful together as a vital part of the teaching authority of the church. So as uh, Pope Francis reminds us in Evangelii Gaudium number 119, the entire people of God journeying under the Spirit has a kind of authority that is infallible in credendo. The people of God all together, the sensus fidei fidelio, and this synod is really about listening to the sensus fidei fidelium, that means listening to the sense of faith of the people by listening to them, this synod is really helping us to retrieve and understand that there is a kind of authority of truth given by God to all the people of God together. And I quote again Pope Francis, Synodality is the dynamic dimension, the historical dimension of ecclesial communion founded by Trinitarian communion, which, appreciating simultaneously the sensus fidei of all God's holy faithful people, apostolic collegiality, so the collegiality of all the bishops together, and unity with the successor of Peter, must animate the conversion and reform of the church at every level. So leaving this synod uh, and uh, called to implement synodality, uh, it's, uh, we can say, a new articulation between the primacy, the authority of the Pope, the collegiality, the authority of the bishops, and synodality of all the people of God, the authority of the sense of faith of the faithful. And we have really to discover uh, and to deepen, we can say, a theology, and more than that, a practice of this sensus fidei fidelium, that is really a central element of this synodal ecclesiology, with the vision that the Holy Spirit empowers all the bataille, each of the bataille who contribute to the edification of the whole body. I come now to the uh, next key element for this uh, synodal vision, that is the action of the Holy Spirit. And I quote here a theologian, Joss Mons, uh, in his article on synodality, he writes, in the first place, the synodal approach gives priority to the Holy Spirit. And Pope Francis is reminding us again and again that synodality is not about a parliament, it's not to be uh, like in a democracy, it is about listening to the Holy Spirit, discerning the path of the Holy Spirit, the call, we can say, of the Holy Spirit. And that's why uh, for this synod, we have proposed as a prayer, the traditional prayer uh, in the church for synods and council called Atsumus, and I will just read the beginning to invite us to enter into this attitude we stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, 
make yourself at home in our earths, teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. So the agency of the spirit, the action of the spirit is really uh, the most important feature for synodality because the principle of synodality is the action of the spirit in the communion of the body of Christ and in the missionary journey of the people of God. Then the, uh, another very important element that I would like to add now uh, to understand the key elements uh, for synodality is the diversity of the charism, the principle of the participation of all in the life of the church. So as I have already said, synodality means that the whole church is a subject and that everyone in the church is a protagonist, is a subject. That means that all the baptized are called to play an active role in as much as they share in the one priesthood of Christ and are meant to receive the various charisms given by the Holy Spirit in view of the common good. A charism, we can say, is a gift we receive from God a personal gift, but for the service of all the community, for the service of the common good. And I would like to finish uh, by quoting uh, Christus Vivit, this post-synodal exhortation from Pope Francis after the Synod on Youth, talking about youth ministries that has to be synodal, but in fact, this synod helps us to discover that not only youth ministry has to be synodal, but all kind of pastoral in the church has to be synodal. And I finish with this paragraph that really gives us an interesting definition of what is it to be synodal, to be a synodal church. Youth ministry has to be synodal. It should involve a journey together that values the charisms that the Spirit bestows in accordance with the vocation and role of each of the church members through a process of co-responsibility. Motivated by the Spirit, we can move towards a participatory and co-responsible church, one capable of appreciating its own rich variety gratefully accepting the contributions of the lay faithful, including young people and women, consecutive persons, as well as groups, associations and movement. No one should be excluded or exclude themselves. So that's really uh, what we are called uh, to become as a church. And uh, really, we have to understand that each of us, we have a role to play so that we really put into practice synodality because synodality is the way of being the church today according to the will of God in a dynamic of discerning and listening together to the voice of the Holy Spirit. We can say synodality is the vocation of the church for the third millennium. Thank you.